I'm doing great. Okay. So once again, a very good morning, all of you. So today's live session, we have this presentation, project one. Mayor will discuss one quote, one of my favorite quotes again, uh, one key point, one MCQ, and finally one fact check. Okay. Hope you guys are all ready. So let's start this Sunday with this presentation. As you can see, uh, what we think we become, as uh, mentioned by Buddha. See, it, 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 it appears to be a very simple phrase, but it has a lot of uh, sense and meaning. I mean, I would say it's thought provoking. What we think we become, I agree 100%. Because uh, most often it can, be, uh, it can be positivity or negativity, or it can be challenging circumstances how we perceive them, what we think about ourselves ultimately matters because in spite of challenges, there are situations where uh, we, we might take it up as a challenge, overcome the same and fulfill our goals and dreams. So likewise, it can be any challenge. It can be any kind of experience. It's all about our perceptions. It's all about how we perceive them. So what we think ultimately will be the decider. And don't you think that we can control our thoughts one percent, two percent, or hundred percent. So we can absolutely control our thoughts irrespective of the challenges we are facing and what we think ultimately will become the same as quoted by Buddha, right? Now let's move on to our first key point. So radiographic resolution. Today we'll discuss some aspects pertaining to oral radiology. So what is this radiographic resolution? So as you can see, resolution or resolving part is the ability of radiograph to record separate structures that are close together, that is line pair, right? So it is usually measured by radiographing an object made up of a series of thin lead strips with alternating radiolucent spaces of same thickness, as you can see in this particular illustration. So you can see a group of lines and spaces which are arranged in the test order in the order of increasing number of line pairs and spaces per millimeter, right? So as you can see on the left side of the screen. And also the resolving power is measured as the highest number of line pairs per millimeter that can be distinguished on the resultant radiograph when examined with low power magnification. So this is one of the key points which I wanted to highlight in this specific presentation. So resolution is nothing but the ability of a radiograph to record separate structures that are close together, right? So just keep this in mind. We'll have one MCQ related to this. And before that, here is some interesting information about human eye, right? So under ideal condition, the human eye has a visual activity of a one line pair per arc minute. This means that it is possible to separate two points that are 0 0.07 mm apart from a distance of 25 centimeters. So what is this arc minute? You know, a circle has 360 degrees and each degree has 60 arc minutes and each arc minute has 60 arc seconds, okay? This is just for your information. And so that's the visual activity of human eye. And if I can ask you this question, what is the resolution part of human eye in terms of megapixels? You know, we have these 12 megapixel cameras. 14 megapixel, nowadays we're having 64 megapixel cameras. So if, if we were to look into our human eye in terms of megapixels, so how many megapixels do you think uh, the human eye has? So just find out, it will be very interesting. Or is this question oversimplistic, right? So try to find out and you can get back for relevant information through mail. So one related MCQ, as you can see, a periapagal film has a resolving power of more than 20 line pairs per millimeter, more than 50 line pairs per millimeter, more than 100 line pairs per millimeter, more than 150 line pairs per millimeter. So which one do you think is a more appropriate answer? Uh, before that, uh, you, you try answering this, I'll give you some related information. When you compare this periapagal films with that of, of panoramic films, Obviously, uh, it's clear, and I'm sure you're all aware of this, that panoramic films have low resolution part comparatively, isn't it? So comparatively, periapical film has a greater resolving power. So a periapical film has a resolving power of which of the following options do you think is more appropriate? Uh, no one seems to be in a mood to answer. 
<laughs> I know there is a 20 second lag, so I have to wait. So Neha says option A, 20 line per, per millimeter. Nikhil says option C, Anuradha says option B. Good, all options are covered except option D. If one of you can choose option D, then it comprehensively covers all the options presented here. Okay, right. So usually, as I mentioned prior, a panoramic image can resolute or, you know, has this uh, resolu resolving part in terms of line pairs, which is around five line pairs per uh, millimeter. So it can delineate up to five uh, line pairs per millimeter in case of panoramic radiographs. In case of periapical film, it has a resolving power of more than 20 line pairs per mm. Okay, option A is the right answer. So if you're right, that's fine. If you're wrong, ma make sure you're not repeating the same mistake, okay? So now let's move on to our final aspect of our presentation, fact check. So I'm presenting a phrase or statement, just let me know if it is right or wrong. Radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness. So what's your opinion? What do you think? Is this statement right or wrong? A radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness. So what is sharpness? So sharpness is the ability of a radiograph to clearly define the edges or precisely define edges. Take for example, alar crest or an dentin enamel junction, right? So that's sharpness. So radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness. So what do you think? Is it a true statement or is it a false statement? Also, I'll present you some related images, radiographic images uh, for better understanding and appreciation. Uh, Vipul Neha says false. Um, okay, Monica says true. Uh, when I say fact check and when I present a statement, it doesn't mean that it has to be wrong all the time. Okay. So anyways, uh, well tried. So Mano says false. So given statement is true. Radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness. I'll present you some images. Just have a look for you. So if you look at this radiographic image, it, it appears to be a bite thing. You can see blurring. Right. So this blurring can be because of motion blurring, geometric blurring, or film blurring. So no matter what it is, you can clearly uh, see that there is blurring, and you cannot really differentiate two structures uh, very clearly. Right. So this is representing radiographic blur. So comparatively, you can see uh, right the sharpness where you can clearly define alar crest, enamel, dentin, DEJ, isn't it? So the given statement is true. Radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness and the sharpness of a radiograph is its ability to define or precisely define or you know delineate the differences in radio density, rather we can say, right? So uh, this is what I wanted to highlight in this very short presentation. I hope it's clear. And before we conclude, I would like to highlight upon the following quote once again. What we think, we become. Uh, don't you think so? So, as I said, in our course of preparation, we face several challenges. It's okay. No matter what the challenges are, what is your thought process, right? What are your perceptions? They do really influence your journey. And when I say this, you might say, like, not all circumstances are under our control. That's fine. I cannot control your thinking. I cannot control your circumstance for that matter. Uh, I cannot control my own circumstances, but what I can control is how I am perceiving them. What you can control is how you are perceiving them. Don't you think so? I mean, uh, your thought process is in your control. If you carefully observe and ask yourself this question, your thought process is in your control 100%. So just take care of your thought process. If you think you'll succeed, you'll become successful. There's no doubt in it. There is no doubt in it. But if you have any seed of negativity, right, that eventually uh, will be counterproductive for your own journey. So what we think we become. So no matter what kind of challenges you're facing, especially when it comes to preparation, no matter how tough the given scenario is, it's all about how you perceive things. If you think you can crack the entrance, you will crack the entrance. If you think you can't, you will never. Take my word. Right. So with this, let's conclude our presentation. And Monica says, human eye has 576 megapixels. That's very impressive, Monica. In fact, uh, there is one article in Discovery website as well. 
and they have clearly mentioned about the same yes 576 megapixel is right answer but uh, rather it's a over simplistic or over simplified question we should not look into our human eye uh, and compare compare it with that of a lens uh, it's much more complex right so uh, just go through that article uh, it will be very interesting okay uh, and as you said uh, yeah it has uh, one particular point the central part of retina it has the highest yes the resolution of uh, 576 mega mega megapixels yeah. just imagine how that's going to be the iphones latest phones uh, maximum of 60 megapixels 64 megapixels we're talking about 576 megapixels right right with us in the form of eyes so uh, let's conclude our session now and you have any queries or you need any further assistance we'll get back uh, you can you can always get back to mail 24 by 7 and sai krishna is asking our aims exams or aims form out uh, as of now there is no update sai krishna just keep a tab on aimsexams.org okay so uh, usually uh, for any presentation i have this habit of summarizing i haven't been doing that for project one so let, let me just initiate the same at least from this presentation so those who have joined late right so we'll have a summary of all that we have discussed so far okay so project one as you know one quote one key point one mcq one fact check so we have been discussing about this quote what we think we become and key point which i i wanted to highlight is radiographic resolution just make sure that you are noting down this uh, highlighted or underlined the point radiographic resolution or resolving for if at all there is a question you should never commit a mistake okay it's the ability of a radiograph to record separate structures that are close together take a piece of paper and draw two lines and you can test your eye for yourself and also we discussed about the resolving power of human eye uh, so one of the articles uh, mentions that human eye has a visual acuity of one line per per hour minute this means that it is possible to separate two points that are 0.07 mm apart from 25 cm right and also we have been discussing about uh, question on periapical films resolving power which is more than 20 line pairs per mm for panoramic it is around 5 line pairs per mm so based on this you can see periapical film has greater resolving power resolution is high that's very obvious right and radiographic blur is due to loss of sharpness fact check so is it right or wrong it's absolutely true so sharpness is the ability of radiograph to precisely delineate or uh, identify the sharp sharp edges or the edges as such between areas of differing densities like enamel uh, dense enamel junction or, or thin alar crest as mentioned in white and faro so you can see a bite ring where there is radiographic blur because of loss of sharpness and this blurring can be because of image blurring or film blurring or it can be because of motion blurring or geometric blurring okay just keep these reasons in mind and then you can see a radiograph a biting again where it is very sharp comparatively right so whenever you are trying to study sharpness contrast uh, you know try to have this comparative analysis it will be much more clear and easy for you to understand and remember right so when you compare this uh, both you can see there is loss of sharpness in the left image as being projected now okay so uh, these are some of the aspects which i wanted to highlight and uh, for any further queries or assistance you can always get back through mail 24 by 7 okay yeah venus sri mano sohini hi rupali hi swati hi neha anuradha vipul megana achira kritika hi no very good morning hi urvi hi chitrangi hi mayank so monica it seems like your google search is working very very fast okay really appreciate your enthusiasm monica shoeb hi shandilya hi priti a oh, very good morning okay so let's conclude our session and as i said you can get back to mail for any further queries or assistance also regarding exam dates and all always rely on official website and if at all there are any updates related to aims pgi or neat uh, we'll try to provide you the same through our update group google as well as telegram update group and you can join our free update group in telegram just drop a mail at proud to be dentist at gmail.com okay so wish you all the best love you all and have a great sunday take care